And joining us in the studio for more is the Israeli ambassador to Ukraine, Michael Brodsky. Mr. Ambassador, thank you for joining us. First of all, let's start by noting here is Israel uh, really doing what it does best in terms of humanitarian aid uh, there in Gaza. Uh, and uh, of course, part of an overall effort. Right, absolutely. And I'm happy that this uh, idea which was uh, uh, firstly raised a couple of weeks ago, and which I discussed with the Ukrainian leadership, with the Minister of Defense, with the head of the Security Council. I'm happy that this idea has become reality today. And I'm happy that Israel is able to contribute uh, towards uh, Ukraine and to assist in, a, 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 in the field that is uh, very natural for Israel, Israel to uh, focus on and uh, which is very natural in terms of the Ukrainian perception of Israel, that Israel would assist exactly in this field of helping people, of assisting the, them in the field of health uh, uh, medicine, and providing very uh, important, crucial help for many refugees, but not only refugees, all those people who will be brought uh, to this uh, field hospital. Right. Now, I uh, should explain to viewers, I believe you're with us in Israel because you had some kind of uh, car accident right. in Poland right. and you came back for treatment, but you will be going back. Uh, but uh, Within a few days. Right, within a few days. Right. But of course, the embassy itself and the staff had to relocate from uh, Kiev to Lviv and is now operating and uh, back and forth across the border. Talk about right. specifically wh what the embassy is doing and the people who work with you. Well, at the moment, the embassy is based, as you said, the embassy embassy is based not far from the uh, Ukrainian border, but on the Polish side. And our teams cross the border from time to time to assist the Israelis who are still uh, in Ukraine to cross the border, to get out of Ukraine, and eventually to fly into to Israel. Uh, besides this, we are coordinating all the humanitarian efforts, including uh, the hospital, uh, including all uh, the humanitarian assistance that has been provided to the Ukrainians over the last uh, few weeks and will be provided. We are definitely uh, going to provide more humanitarian assistance and all this assistance will be coordinated uh, through the embassy, uh, which is based in Poland. In addition, we are maintaining our contacts with the Ukrainians, with the Ukrainian leadership. We are maintain maintaining our contacts with the uh, media in Ukraine. And it is crucial to keep uh, 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 keep in touch and being in touch all the time because they're looking very closely at what Israel is doing, how Israel is assisting uh, Ukraine. We heard uh, the, the, the uh, Ukrainian president uh, speaking to the Knesset a couple of days ago. And, you know, Israel is an issue, is a very important country for... for well, you. let's talk about that because you, right. of course, have primarily a diplomatic role and the relations between Israel and Ukraine now are complicated because on one hand, Israel is helping out. On the other hand, we know President Zelensky is asking for more, sometimes in a style some in Israel find problematic. Uh, so on the diplomatic level, how are those relations? Well, all in all, uh, we've had uh, very close relations with uh, Ukraine. Uh, they were not, uh, I wouldn't, uh, you know, I wouldn't uh, present a rosy picture of these relations that always uh, have been different issues, including uh, the historical issue, which uh, uh, have always elicited uh, very emotional reactions from both uh, sides. But all in all, we have very good and very close, uh, even I would say personal and family type of uh, relations with Ukraine. And I believe that after this war, this relation will remain the same, despite all the criticism that uh, is being uh, uh, up there for, for uh, the last days. Uh, and I can understand this criticism, but there is a phrase, there is a saying that I keep uh, uh, repeating uh, uh, over and over again over the last uh, days. Uh, I don't know exactly how to say it in English, but in Hebrew it sounds like loss of team Adam Shatsaro. You don't, don't judge yeah. a man, you don't judge a man at his lowest point. Exactly. So this is applicable to what is going now in Ukraine, including uh, the president's speech, including uh, some other uh, statements that have been released uh, recently. Israel knows what it has to do. It has to assist Ukraine where it can assist, and this is exactly what it does. Now, Mr. Basser, if I'm correct, you yourself are a child of St. Petersburg, right. so you have roots in Russia. Right. Russia's a part of this equation. There have been reports, for example, that Israel, when it set up that field hospital, 
try to coordinate it with the Russians so it would not come under attack. I don't know if you could comment on that, but can you comment on the contacts perhaps that you or others in the foreign ministry have to also make with Russia in dealing with this situation? Well, you know, there are many countries which can supply Ukraine with the ammunition, with the weapon, and there are only a few countries uh, which can maintain uh, effective channels of communications with both Russia and Ukraine, and Israel is one of them. So this is crucial for Israel to keep this role because this role is very important for you for the Ukrainians and you know that uh, our Prime Minister has been involved in uh, attempts to uh, facilitate the negotiation and process between uh, the two countries and Israel is playing a very important role uh, thanks to this unique position that Israel uh, is uh, uh, occupying at the moment. Uh, so. Uh, Israel can only uh, benefit from this position, and in addition, of course, this position coincides with our national interest. A unique but difficult and challenging position, Mr. Ambassador, not true. correct. Ukraine called you in. Uh, was it uh, uh, right. an, uh, over uh, contacts with Russians? I won't say it was a reprimand. I don't it know. It was about a week uh, the, uh, before the war broke out. Well, how, how are you managing that uh, yourself to manage that balance that does seem to be delicate between uh, Ukraine and Russia? At the it moment? is indeed. It is indeed a very delicate balance, but Israel uh, first and foremost has to think about its own national interests. And we have uh, a very obvious, very, very clear uh, boundaries, very clear limits uh, in terms of what we can do and what we can't do. But uh, both sides know these limits, and within these limits, we're trying to do the best. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, can you comment reports that Prime Minister Bennett may even be contemplating a visit to Ukraine, even to Kyiv, and perhaps some are even suggesting part of this negotiation process? Uh, can you comment on that? Well, I, obviously, I cannot confirm it, okay. but uh, as you, I heard it from, from the media, but uh, I personally would be happy if this happens. I would be happy if eventually a summit takes place in Jerusalem because Jerusalem is a symbolic place for uh, all of the world and I believe that Israel can contribute a lot to this. Is that sincere? I mean, President Zelensky would like Jerusalem. He sees Jerusalem as the place for I, the summit. I think he's mentioned it several times that he would like uh, to have this uh, summit in Jerusalem uh, as one of the options, not the only option, but definitely one of the options.